Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to show you how to prepare your asparagus bed in the beginning of spring. It'll be spring here in about a week. Asparagus will come out of the ground when the ground temperatures reach about 50 degrees. We're not there yet. But before that starts, what you want to do is clear out all the debris, which I'm going to do, and then you want to lay down a balanced fertilizer, a 10-10-10, a 15-15-15, something that just has equal portions of the N, P, and K all the way through. And I read a lot of ways to do it over the years, and they would always say things like two pounds per hundred square feet, and that gets all confusing. It's hard to figure out. All you do is you measure out your bed. So this is two feet wide. You can see the tape measure, and the sides are eight feet long. So that's 16 square feet. And what I do, and I found that works perfectly fine, is two tablespoons of the 1010 fertilizer, Per square foot and you just basically sprinkle it evenly across. I'm also going to mulch the top of this with about an inch of wood mulch and there is a myth that you can't use wood mulch in your garden. That is true if you put wood mulch on top of your garden and then dig it down deep that wood in the depth of your soil will mess up how your plants get to use nitrogen. But putting wood mulch on top is perfectly fine. I'm going to take care of uh, this garden and show you how it looks with the fertilizer and with the um, so I cleared out the asparagus bed and it doesn't have to be perfect. Just remove as much as you can. The low-lying weeds can stay there. They're going to get covered in the uh, mulch. Any grass that you have or taller weeds, pull those out. And all I'm doing, this is a 10-10-10 fertilizer and I'm sprinkling two tablespoons per square foot. You could go ahead and just use one if this is your first time and you're a little nervous about it. And that's actually three tablespoons. And what I do is come back, mulch over the top, and then I'm gonna put the next tablespoon across the top there. So it is really two tablespoons per square feet, but I'm putting some beneath the mulch and some above the mulch, and I'll finish that out and show you what it looks like. Here's what the completed asparagus bed looks like. And I wanna explain the fertilizing one more time. I don't think I was as clear as I could be. The mulch is down. And this is the spot that I was fertilizing. And you can see these are two square feet. And I said two tablespoons per square foot. And if you're a little bit nervous, some people are worried that the fertilizer could burn the asparagus, just go ahead and use one, one tablespoon. But what I did is I put basically one and a half tablespoons in each square. And then the final tablespoon was just spread right across the top of the mulch, if you can see that. So essentially they did each get two tablespoons, but one and a half tablespoons went under the mulch and then a half a tablespoon went on top and that's just something i decided just yeah decided to do this time either way will work fine but this is what the final project looks like the asparagus has been fertilized with the 10 10 10 fertilizer before spring and remember asparagus will start coming out of the ground when the ground gets to about 50 degrees i mulched on top wood mulch on top of your soil is okay and in a couple of weeks, I should have my asparagus coming up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.